I've just unboxed this Pecron E1000 lithium iron phosphate power station. It does come with cables, so you can go ahead and hook it up to solar panels. I'm going to go ahead and get these hooked up, and I'm going to get a solar panel on here. I'll check the website to make sure that I'm not putting too much in. Probably just grab like a 200 watt panel or something. We'll set this outside, let it charge up, and then we'll kind of take a look at it, talk about the specifications and everything. I just took a quick look. It will do 600 watts of solar input, so I'm gonna grab my 300 watt panel and we'll get that set up and going. I've just set it up. It started at zero watts and it's climbing up. That's more than I've got out of this panel before. The sun's at a good angle and there's not a lot of clouds. So we're gonna get about 247 in, 248 in. Um, the screen really dims really fast. But yeah, it's gonna take about an hour and a half probably to charge up. There's no clouds, so that should be pretty good. It might even speed up a little as the sun gets a little farther that way. So I said this was my 300 watt panel. It's actually like 360 watts, I think. I went ahead and kicked it up to 20 amps and I'm getting 327 in now. So 1.1 hours. So we'll go ahead and let this do its thing and uh, yeah, we'll be back. All right, here we are. We have 290 watts in. We're at 99%. I'm gonna go ahead and stop it. So one thing I really like about this power station is it fits really nice in my floorboard. Um, I'm gonna go out today and use my Starlink Mini, which I only have the AC adapter for and my MacBook in areas where I don't necessarily have a cell phone signal. So I can power both of those and that should last me probably like 20 hours without needing to charge up. So plenty fine. And then I could always top it off with the DC when I'm driving and not using it, but pretty cool. I, it, it's nice and light. It's got the handles. It fits in here well. We'll show you that when I have all this hooked up later. So here I am. I just turned the power station on. I'm going to get the Starlink set up and I'm going to use it on the dashboard for a minute and then I'm going to get out and put it on the roof to see how much of a better signal I can get. But we'll be powering it off of this power station, which is nice because we're in the middle of nowhere and I'll kind of show you that. The Starlink is up and running. We're drawing about 37 watts right now. Again, it's in the window. My MacBook's coming up. We'll go ahead and connect down to 24 watts. I saw it at nine a minute ago. Um, once we get I'll get a, a bandwidth test or something going and we'll see uh, the power draw from the power station. Kind of get an idea of how long it will last. So we're connected. We're drawing about 27 watts. Um, I'm working on getting the speed test going. That's actually better than I was getting at home. <laughs> uh, we'll see what the final ends up being. I like using the Cloudflare speed test the best. And right now I just saw uh, 40 watts on there. It's 26 now. But, you know, depending on what you're doing will depend on that. As it stands right now, I'm looking at like 23 hours, realistically probably 18 hours from the power station just to run this Starlink. Uh, I'd say that's pretty freaking impressive. Man, it's been a steady stream of cars. So we're out here, you can see some of the uh, monuments over there. The mittens are kind of that way. And this is where I am right now. And I got the Starlink there. So let's get back in the car here. So we're at 72. So it's already doing better. Yeah, we're still at about 0.8% packet loss. Not bad. I mean, I get that at home on Starlink. And again, this isn't optimally placed. We're drawing 38 watts down here. 37, 29. Like it bounces around depending on how much you're downloading, obviously, and how much you're uploading. Because, yeah, it's a, it's a radio, basically. Well, it is a radio. It's a satellite radio. 37 watts. We're still going. Our upload's a little bit better. Download's going to be about the same, I think. Uh, we might hit 200 there. Come on, you can do it. I just love this Starlink Mini. I also love this power station. Uh, it's got a decent amount of storage and a nice enough form factor. And then it has the handles, which I like. That was just my dash cam turning off. Yeah, so here we finished again, 0.8% packet loss, 199 megabits. And then 10.7 up. So perfect for doing anything you'd want to do. Let's go to another location and just get some more little scenic and maybe not have the audience that I have behind me. So we're connected. We're drawing about 27 watts. I picked the wrong laptop to come do this. I forgot how shiny my MacBook Pro is, but this will take, I don't know, a minute to run. Honestly, what more do you want? Sorry, that's the uh, dash cam. Just so cool. Like using my Starlink in my car off of a power station, getting in and out from a satellite. What, what a time we live in. I'll see you guys in the next video.